Welcome back to a JM Golf video. Today is going to be a little bit different. I'm at my local par three course, Dunton Hills, par 54, of course. So I'm gonna see how good I can get round. All right, I'm on the green. It's very windy today, so I apologize if there's wind noise. We're gonna find out how it gets on. It is very sludgy today. So I've been at the course filming some different content today and I wanted to see, one, if this dead cat worked in a windy day, and two, you've got to hit it. You have to hit it. Oh. And two, can I actually get better? So if you've been seeing the regular matches on the channel, you'll see quite clearly that I need to improve. This hole's playing 125 yards, so I'm going to take a nice, nearly full pitching wedge. Got on the green. Just short. That is windy. A lot of wind up there. I'm also going to be releasing this video in 4K because I want to make the videos better for you guys watching. Now, yes, I'm a small channel. Yes, I've only got 100 and something subscribers at the point of recording this video, but I want to get better. I want to see if it's possible for a high handicapper to actually improve, how quickly he can improve, and what methods I can use to improve to help you guys. Yet again, I apologize if it's windy. I'm walking directly into wind but hopefully this dead cat is doing something. As I'm walking up here to the green, short-sided, still into wind, second shot on a par three. I've got a sand wedge. I don't know the yard is, because this is just gonna be like a little, little field shot. Oh, I was gonna say I usually like that type of shot. So I'm gonna go to the other side of the green, hopefully get a nicer shot of this. Thinking about putting this, but there's loads of potholes and divots and stuff so take a sandwich again and just oh nearly a chip in par i'll take that every day of the week all right bogey one over and yes i am going to get my sandwich Shout out to anyone that forgets their clubs on holes. Happens to the best of us. Third hole here at Dunton Par 3. Currently playing 115. Wind off the right, slightly into. I'm going to take a pitch and wedge again. See if I can't do the exact same shot I did last time. At least get this one on the green. Or top it. That was my fault. That one was my fault. Second shot in, I've got 62 yards. Because it's sludgy, one, I'm probably going to get slapped in the face with mud. And two, if I take my lob wedge, it's probably just going to go under it. So, I mean, I want to try and pick this clean, but it's a very good chance that it's just going to splash me. Yep, I've expected that to happen. Right, look at the club. Jeez. Can't tell if I've got it on my face, hopefully not. If not, or if I do, not much I can do about it right now. All right, at this point, a high handicap will usually think, oh no, I shouldn't have done it. I need to try and hold this for the next one. I'm not going to have that mentality. I'm going to try and play for the bogey. So I'm going to try and chip it close or putt it close, and then half decent chance that I can now make a putt. I'm going to try a very underutilized shot that not a lot of high handicappers use, the bump and run. I'm going to use it with a pitching wedge. So I'm just going to take a putter stroke with the pitching wedge. Yes, it's run long, but it's better than fatting another chip shot and putting myself in a worse position. At least from there, worse luck and two putt, so a double, best case scenario. A one putt for a putt, a bogey. It's more about the mental side of the game than it is the physical side. Now, the one good thing about this course for the most part that is there's not a lot of break in the greens it's pretty much as you see it and i'm seeing this one pretty straight remember to hit it the greens are wet you 
good for pace, bad line. So that is a double. So three over three, three, bogey golf, which is usually to my handicap. Can't really be annoyed. Let's go on to the next one. Fourth hole, I'm currently three over three, three. Yeah, again, this is 120 yards, but a good thing is the wind is helping me. So let's see if we can't get this a bit better. That is on, that is, looks like it's pretty close. Now, seems like I pitched just here. So, cannot complain about that. So I've got this for a birdie chance. This one is slightly going left to right. Go, go, oh! That's twice now we've been close to a birdie. Par done. Still three over through three. Four. Three over through four. 115 yards. I'm still taking a pitching wedge. I've used a pitching wedge on pretty much every hole. Just gonna want to see if I can actually die on my distances rather than just trying to go full whack it the whole time. Wind is slightly helping, so I want to try and just do the same shot I did last time. Oh, caught a bit thin. Yeah, that has ran through the back. Right, so I am long, but luckily I'm not too far back. And luckily it's a decent lie. So. <sighs> yes, please. All I've got to do now is actually hit it. Not going to lie to you viewers. Didn't think I was going to make that. A very unexpected par, but a very welcome par. Three over through five. On to number six. 130 yards, but bang into win. So I'm actually going to take a nine iron on this hole. Even if I completely moose my pitching wedge, it's not getting there with that wind. My tendency is if I'm hitting into wind, it tends to go to the right. So I'm going to aim slightly more left and hope that's the trick. Unfortunately, not seeing my ball down because I can now tell that I am completely covered. Hopefully, it's just what? No, it's definitely mud. It's mud. As I suspected, hitting dead into wind, it went to the right. I might have mud in my eyes, but we are short sighted. We'll try and get this up in the air. Not annoyed. In line with the hole. Well, so, this gives me a little bit of confidence that. If I'm out of position, my short game's going to be improving. Right line, not enough pace. That's bogey, four over through six. I'll take it. Seventh hole, playing 115 yards. Yes, I'm slightly into wind, slightly off of the right. Still going pitching wedge. See if I can't get splashed in the face this time. Honestly, did not see that whatsoever. Splashed again. So it turns out I was actually just short of the green. I kind of want to try the bump and run pitching wedge again, just because there's a very good chance that this could thin. So yeah, take it like a putter stroke. Stop, 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 stop. Probably needed more loft. Okay, we've got this for par. Pretty straight yet again. Hit it. Just hit it. <sighs> oh, double out of nowhere. That stings a lot. Now there's extra added pressure, camera and an audience. <laughs> All right, so 138 yards. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good round, guys. Appreciate it. Roll.
Yeah, especially now it's winter as well. I think I've been splashed in the face for at least four tee shots. All right, I think that was like one. That was a bogey, so I need to double check my score. I think I'm six or seven over now, which I need to make some birdies and pars. Really nice group of uh, old boys. Immediately bricking myself when they said, yeah, I can play through and that I can get them on film. So thank you very much. It's on to number nine. Got to the ninth hole here at Dunton's par three. 113 yards, just too far for my sand wedge. So I'm going to do a smooth knockdown pitching wedge. It's on the green, but I'm long. See if we can't get a par or a birdie after a bogey. Give yourself some confidence back. But if anything, if I come up. Come in under 19, it's an improvement on my handicap, which has dropped recently from 22 to 19. Oh! Nearly had the bird. This green, oddly enough, quite dry. That was stupid. That was stupid. That was stupid, four. Eight over through nine. Not great. All right, so we're here on the back nine of Dunton. Even though it's windy, I'm hot, so jumper is off. Got 198 yards, but it's into wind. So I'm gonna take a five iron. Oh. Let's go back to the right. Ah, not what I wanted. Hopefully it's findable. I've got a mound and a bunker to go over. So, yeah, so the camera can see I'm just over here. I might be too far out of range. Uh, got 10. So it's got 67 yards. 67, smack into wind. Yay. Blinded, just off the front. All right, this is the blow up hole. This is the blow up hole. All right, double. Double, so that puts me nine over through 10. Not bad in terms of bogey golf. Not where I wanted to be for the challenge of this video. Right, just checking out, I'm actually 10 over through 10, which is not where I wanted to be. Got 135 yards into wind, taking a nine iron. Track in the green, but it's caught in the wind, pushed out to the right. Right, I'm on, I'm on. Need some confidence back. Well, as it turns out, wind was stronger than I thought. I'm not on the green. I am short. Yeah, it bounced in line with the hole. Come on. Let's hit a good part today. Let's hit a good, decent part. Good line. It's either I can get my pace right or I can get my line right. Never at the same time. Four, 11 over through 11. All right, a little bit different on this one. Filming from behind the flag. I'm just over here. 62 degrees, six, 62 yards, 60 degree wedge. Come on. Thinned it. Last week when I played this, I stuck it to about two foot. So for some reason, for some stupid reason, for a high handicapper, I thought, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen again. All right, it's on. All right, bogey, 12 over through 12. Uh, 
Anyway, it's improvement. It's an improvement. That's the way I've got to think of it. I'm improving every time I play. 13th hole, playing 118 yards. Down breeze. My sand wedge could get there, but I'd really have to smack the sand wedge. And I just want to focus on smooth swings with my wedges. Clean. Right, I'm on. That was tracking the flag the entire way. Bounced right. But off we go. Need the camera. All right, so I was actually quite a bit long, nearly off the back of the green. It's still a green. Long part here. I really had to twat that to get it up. Oh, you little but <sighs> Right, four again. Right, 14th hole, 78 yards. This time I am going to take my sandwich. But yet again, nice smooth swing. Plug just short, lovely swing. Honestly, no matter what I shoot today, even though it look like, looks like it's gonna be like 18 over. I'm tempted to putt this actually. A bit of fringe to get through. Not annoyed, better than a thin through the green. <sighs> so for par here at 14, Scratch that for bogey here at 14. That's 14 over through 14. That's just what you want. 15th hole, 125 yards. I like the look of this one. Oh, I thinned it. It's going to work. Nope, short. Thinned the arse off it. When the sun's out, this looks like a really nice cinematic little course. I'm going to putt it with a pitching wedge again. We'll try a little dinky one. I don't need it high, but I do need it to run a little bit. I'm gonna try and get it off the bank. Too much. That's off the back. It's off the other way. See, I started off well, but this is the reality of high handicap golf. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes you want to throw your clubs. Put this one. Go on. Oh. Hmm. Four. All right, this is actually the 16th hole. It's a 99, playing 99 yard par three. I'm going sandwich and I'm actually going to take a more of a full swing on this one. gone high long huh I'd like to close out with at least a par because our uh, bogeys are starting to depress me just a little bit well, it turns out I'm not that far long <sighs> Whoa, too much too much on the chip Good pace, bad line. That's the par. Bogey. All right, well, I'm consistently getting fours. So consistency is key, even if it's not great consistency. Come up here to the 17th hole of this par three course. The wind or the sky has decided to take a break, so the wind has picked up. I'm into wind, 120 yards, taking a pitching wedge. 
Let's move it up this way a little bit because that doesn't seem as sloshy. Oh, thinned it. Thinned it off to the right. Whoops. I finished off the green here on the 17th. Too much ground. Too much ground. Rushing it. Right. Let's try again. A little bit nicer. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, five. That puts me at 18 over through 17 if this goes down. Yep, 18 over through 17. Bogey golf. But for my handicap, I'm playing to it. So if I can bogey or better the last hole, I'm playing to my handicap. Now the green's clearing, like I said, 18th hole, 165 yards, wind assisting. Take your eight iron. Oh, that's gone left. Yeah. Left of the green. Bogey or better. To play two or under my handicap. So see if we can't get this one close. Come on. It's on. All right, two putts for the bogey. If I can hold this longer part for a putt, part for a par, I'll be a happy bunny. Right line, not enough pace again. Oh. Right, bogey. So that puts me 19 over through 18. Play to my handicap. If you've enjoyed it, come back for more relatable golf.